What will you do when you grow old? What do you want from life? What have you prepared for your old age? These are many questions that come to our mind every day. Our lives are becoming more complex day by day and we now have several options to choose from along the way. At every stage of life, there are several changes that are coming up in the lifestyle of the individuals. Adulthood is the most stable period of the lifespan. Adults achieve stability by making adjustment with the world outside as well as within one's own self. For example, a person who loses the job makes a desperate attempt to find a new one and tries to adjust himself or herself with it. So dear learners and listeners, as mentioned in the introductory part, I'm Dr. Shweta. And today, I'm here with you on the new topic, which is Adulthood and Aging, Part 1. So, the objectives of today's program are to describe some of the developmental tasks to be performed during adulthood, as well as to explain to you the important features of adulthood and aging. It is believed that most of the development ends with adolescence. Only wisdom continues to develop. However, there are many specific developmental tasks during adulthood and old age that requires to engage in specific development and make adjustment in life. In this respect, the perspectives that are given by Hevigerst and Levinson are quite relevant. Let us first of all know that what are the Hevigerst developmental tasks? So Hevigerst has given three developmental tasks during this period of life. Number one is the early adulthood. Number two is the middle age. And last is the old age. Let us begin with the first, which is the early adulthood. Let us know that what are the developmental tasks during this period of time. According to Hevigerst, the early adulthood developmental task is to select a mate, learn to live with a married partner, starting a family, rearing children, managing a home, getting started in an occupation, taking on the civic responsibilities and finding a congenial social group. When we switch on to the middle age, the developmental task includes achieving adult civic and social responsibility, establishing and maintaining an economic standard of living, assisting the teenage children to become responsible and happy adults, developing adult leisure time activities, relating to one's spouse as a person, accepting and adjusting to the physiological changes, adjusting to the aging parents, are some of the developmental tasks of the middle age. And then comes the old age. In the old age, the developmental tasks are to adjust with the decreasing strength and health, the retirement, the death of the spouse, etc. Heavy girls, developmental tasks are based on the life situation. That how do we go through when we are in early adulthood, in the middle age and at the old age? What are the different tasks that we are supposed to perform during these ages. The another psychological perspective is that of Daniel Levinson, who derived his data from the clinical studies of men only. Let us discuss the stages given by Levinson during the adulthood and aging. So as far as the Levinson stages are concerned, the first is leaving the family, the first developmental task, that is Leaving the family begins at the age of 20 to 24 years. Next is getting into the adult world and that is around the period of 20s to 27 or 29. After that comes the settling down period. That is how do you settle in your personal and professional life. That is around the early 30s to the early 40s. Then comes becoming one's own man. That is the Acquiring all the strength that you have that is between 35 to 39 years of age. After these ages, 
the midlife transition comes. That is, you now move from the early adulthood to the midlife. Then comes the restabilization and beginning of the middle adulthood, and this is happening around the middle 40s of anyone's age. Let us discuss about the Levinson stages in greater detail. The first begins with leaving the family, that is 20 to 24 years of your age. It is actually a transitional period from the adolescence to the early adulthood. In this period, you have to move out of your family home. And you might have seen that during this period, we establish a kind of psychological distance from the family. Because at this time, the people around us or the society around us becomes more important to us. The second is getting into the adult world. And as I have discussed with you that it happens during the 20 years to 27 or 29 years of age. During this age, our job is to explore the world around us, whether it is the professional world or the personal world. During this time, we make provisional commitments to adult roles that is at occupational level and the interpersonal level. Next comes the settling down period. Now when you have already made the commitments, now comes the time to settle down. And this is happening during the early 30s to the early 40s. This is a period of deeper commitment. Becoming one's own man. What is it? High point to early adulthood. That means you have already made some commitments and you had decided on some plans. Now comes the time to execute those plans. After all this, now comes the very important period of somebody's life and that is the midlife transition. That is when you move from early adulthood to the midlife of your years. This stage happens during the early 40s and the developmental transition that involves a sense of bodily decline and one recognizes one's mortality. That means during this period we have a feeling of bodily decline that is we do not feel that much energetic and we recognize that this body is mortal. Another is restabilization and beginning of the middle adulthood that is again you are stabilizing in your life and you are beginning your middle adulthood and middle adulthood is around the 40s. During this period, some people take up new creative strides in their life, whereas other loses their vitality. That is, they might uh, start feeling less confident in their lives during this time or less energetic during this period of their age. If you look at the developmental tasks and also Levinson's analysis of stages of adult development, you can realize that specific life developmental tasks are related to the different social demands on a person at different stages of lifespan. For example, the need to take up an occupation or to enter into a marital relationship during early adulthood may be seen as leading to developmental tasks and challenges of seeking and succeeding in an occupational role or selecting a life partner in marriage. That is, this is a developmental task of this very period. So, these were some of the psychological perspectives on adulthood that were given by Hevigerst and Levinson. Let us move towards the next topic of discussion. The next topic of discussion of today's program is the period of adulthood. That what is happening during the period of adulthood. Let us know about it in greater detail. The first is the young adulthood period. As we all know that the young adulthood begins at the age of 20 years onwards. The major concerns of this period are to have a settled life, to have a proper job and to settle in a family. Then comes the middle age. These are different periods as I have already mentioned. So, after young adulthood comes the middle age. The middle age begins at 40s and 50s. And the main characteristics that are associated with the middle age 
of any individual are the competence of that individual, the maturity level of that individual and the responsibility and stability with which the individual works. At this point of time, the individual pays more attention on his or her health that is they become more conscious about their health, what their children will do, how they are going to look after their aging parents and also they want to utilize the leisure times and they are now planning for the old age. For women, menopause occurs between the age of 45 and 50 years. Menopause is sometimes accompanied by some distressing physical and psychological symptoms in women. Men during this period show greater amount of concern towards their health, strength, power and sexual potency. Old age a very significant period in one's life and this comes after the midlife. This period begins at the age of 60. At this time, one begins to develop some concerns and occasional anxiety over their physical and psychological health because they have put on greater effort on settling in their lives and settling down their children as of now. But now comes the time when they start feeling conscious about their own self. Many of the old people lose their spouses and this becomes a major cause of emotional insecurity for the old people. As of now, we have talked about different stages of adulthood and aging and the charms and challenges that it brings with itself. In the next program, we will talk about the physical and cognitive changes that happen during adulthood and aging. As well as, we will also be talking about the problems and the coping strategies during old age. With this, I end up for today's program. Thank you.